Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today something you've guessed it totally new to the channel but probably not so new to the rest of you guys and to the rest of YouTube um, but I'm gonna do Lee's top tips the five best must-haves for surviving in Thailand now this will obviously uh, divide opinions but these are my tips for surviving our particular situation so in no particular order in at number five so probably the least important no these are my number one is your dags you gotta love your dags uh, so we've got six and uh, that's for 50 rye um, because they like they like biting each other. Spoon. So they are a little bit, what could I say, they're not wild, but they're not sort of like a, a pocket dog that you'll have on your, your sofa at night while you're watching TV and sharing your popcorn. Um, they're more, of, I wouldn't say they're a deterrent, they're more of an early warning system uh, that just let you know that there's there's someone or something around. So yesterday, um, one of the puppies, not really puppies now, sort of adolescents, um, they alerted us to a snake, uh, scorpions, uh, but then it really it's at night time, before a motorbike even gets here or a car, they, they've started barking. Now the issues we do have is Klopp likes to run out into the road and chase people on their push bikes. Luckily everyone round here has got no problem with dogs. The dogs they're not scared of dogs or anything like that. The main issue really is if they bite the person not on your property or they run under the wheels and cause a crash and they end up in hospital, you get footed with the bill. So if you want someone to be bitten by your dog get them onto your land and then say kill no we don't do that of course right then that's number one now what I should have done was have a little think about this um, before a press record I just thought oh, let's do this uh, I know what my first one will be and now I'm thinking on number two okay in at number four I think I'm going in reverse order um, if you like getting your hands dirty in Thailand and I mean just doing some DIY stuff and that sort of thing uh, you'll appreciate it. it is quite warm out here and you do perspire quite a bit so what I strongly recommend is copying my idea bloody ingenious this is and implement a two t-shirt system so you wear one when you get hot and sweaty and you're gonna have a uh, an icy water or, or a cold drink break switch over to your second t-shirt and leave your sweaty t-shirt in the sun brilliant absolute brilliant idea i am thinking about upgrading to a three t-shirt system but um i don't know could be complicated all right so i'm particularly proud of that feel free to use that you won't get a copyright strike from me on to number three i think now quite a common question I get asked is Lee, I don't know how you live in Thailand All those bloody mosquitoes I couldn't live there like you Well, people Mozzie lotion Incredibly important But there are health scares about the excessive use of DEET So, bin that I've got something special to show you I should have put this in at number one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Lee's organic free mosquito repellent. Okay, what the hell is that I hear you say? This, mixed with some water, is monitor lizard piss and it works a treat. Of course I'm taking the piss guys, I'll show you what it is. 
this is all it is lemongrass but this isn't the lemongrass your missus puts in your tom yam soup or if she does it will taste minging mate so this is purely to be used as an insect repellent now we've grown loads and loads and loads of it but in its present state unless you sort of like do that it's next to bloody useless now you do have to be careful when you pick it because that is as sharp as sharp as a samurai sword that is now what a lot of people do well not a lot of people actually do this but is just scrunch it up and then once you, it starts to get it a little bit it's a bit oh no but it's more watery than oil uh, and then just rub that all over your body so I saw someone do that I thought oh, I'll give that a go no problem and of course it's free we all like something for free don't we I got a, a ball the size of a, a tennis ball rubbed it all over me all over myself I had shorts and a t-shirt on I tell you what it was like death of a thousand cuts so don't be a numpty and do what I did what you do is you pick oh, I don't know two handfuls of the stuff stick it in a pan with a little bit of water and simmer it for about 10 minutes put that in a bottle and dilute it don't dilute it to taste just dilute it and uh, and then splash it all over and it works a treat I'm not saying I haven't been bitten when I've when I've put it on but well, I've probably been using it a couple of weeks now I've probably been bitten three times in those two weeks. If I'd been using that other stuff that I just pretend to throw away, um, I don't think I've ever been bitten using that. So, but it's the health issues and, of course, the financial. I know a lot of you guys are minted, but if you're watching your Bart, um, that bottle would have been... For that one is 55 Bart. For the clear liquid, it's 65. Um, you can get some slightly cheaper. Uh, but of course this is free so these have been in I don't know about probably about three months now uh, and what we're looking to do is split them because they're quite big now in there we're going to split them and increase the amount that we've put around the shanty town for the uh, for the animals as far as ducks go they're fine with the mozzies but I'm convinced a lot of mosquito activity does affect egg production in chickens certainly when they get a little bit older so um, yeah I'm gonna put loads and loads around there and of course the chickens will be in and around it and brushing themselves against it so um, we also spray the dogs now um, we did we did for the puppies anyway with the mosquito lotion but of course, when you've got three dogs and any other dogs get jerked, six bloody dogs, they'll cost him more than a bottle of beer for me every night. So um, we'd stop using it. And of course, they do get bitten quite a bit around here. Certainly the rain season, there's, there's plumes of the bloody things. So now they get a, a bottle of um, monitor lizard piss every night. And they, uh, they sleep well. If they sleep well, we tend to sleep well. Okay. What the heck am I going to do next? Ah, just thought one. Now, a lot of you guys out there, similar sort of age to me, probably look a lot older, but that's neither here nor there. A lot of you are very complimentary on my fashion sense and uh, ask me for a lot of tips. The best tip I can get, give you guys is get one of these on your noggin. That will stop the back of your neck looking like a plucked chicken. Getting sunburnt out here, it's just not an option. It's, uh, it can screw you right up. So um, they feel a little bit claustrophobic when you first use them because these close at the front. Um, but that, I, I would say out of everything I've got out here for working out in the outdoors, this is the most important thing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in at number two, guys, 
is not a toilet and I could have done this as a UK style toilet but I think that's a given uh, the next one though is something that does divide opinion but normally by people that have never ever used one because they think it makes you bisexual is hang on a minute that's a tune always leaving the loose seat up bless her is the bum gun now it's up to you at the velocity that you set it at we've got it so it almost rips your back out uh, but that leaves you as clean as a whistle no need for toilet tissue so again you're saving money but it's a lot lot cleaner and if you like your spicy food and you go a few times a day uh, that will leave your bum skin intact so you may well be bisexual but it won't be the reason why uh, if you do use said implement now impressive as our must-have list is there is one more that needs to go on it and I'm gonna put it right at the top it's undisputed this one this one is not up for debate the others <laughs> some of them maybe uh, but this one I could not survive out here without sucking on a dee-doo get yourself a load of them I tell you what when you're roasting hot get one of them or three or four of those down your gizzards and uh, they hit the mark that's it for God. now. Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna have a dee do. That's it for now, guys. I'm exhausted. I think this vlog has taught me one thing above all else, and that's to plan very, very carefully before you hit record. All right, Klopp, you all right about being in at number five? Eh? Look, we didn't start at twenty, wouldn't it? Eh? Eh? No girls out there, mate. Yep. You're all right about it, aren't you? In your spoon. All right, who's eating something dead? That is minging. Right, ta-da for now. That is gross. You may well be bisexual, and that is fine. I'm not here to judge, um, but you can't lay it at the door of the fantastic bum gun. You're bisexual because you is bisexual. <laughs>